Hello, I'm Vivet. Today I want to show you um, something on the PS Vita 2000. I recently got a new PS Vita, which is a special version. As you can see, it's the 2000 model, so the new PS Vita. It has a special color, and so on. It's currently running the firmware 3.0 run, so I can show you the TNV e custom firmware on this new PS Vita. First, let me change the language to English, and then, as you can see, 3.01 TNV 9.6. It can do everything the other PS Vita can do too, as long as it's running TNV. For example, PSP Filer is working without problems. Other homebrews are also working without problems, like a Game Boy emulator or a Super Nintendo emulator, and so on. I really like the new start and select buttons. They are easy to press, and the new buttons in general are very, very nice. The only thing I don't really like about the new Vita is, well, it's not the screen. It, I think it's actually decent, but the only thing I don't really like is, I thought the USB port would be the very same as the original PSP, but it's just another one, so I couldn't care less if it's like the USB port of the old PS Vita, or if it's something else that was not on a previous PSP. So yeah, and the one gigabyte internal storage of the new PS Vita is basically useless because if you have no memory stick, you have one gigabyte. Wow, cool. One gigabyte, that's useless. If you have a memory card, the one gigabyte internal storage is disabled. So once again, useless. They could have just left it out. I wish they would have made it like with the PSP Go. Like 16 GB internal storage. Pokemon Crystal also working. And while I am at it, I also got a new PSP Go. As you can see, it has the same color as the new PS Vita. Looks very nice. But yeah, the video is about the PS Vita, so I will show you things on the new PS Vita 2000. Otherwise, um, I've shown you an emulator, a homebrew. I will show you one more emulator, and then I will show you um, a game backup, like an ISO or a CSO. And then I will show you a PS1 game, and I think that's basically it. Some more things in TNV. No, everything in TNV is working at the PS Vita 2000 and I really like that the new screen of the PS Vita it makes, it makes it look like that the screen is bigger it's not bigger than the old one but the frame border thingy makes it look bigger I'm not sure why but I kinda like it exit GPSP And yeah, the new Vita is of course slimmer, that's why it's the PS Vita Slim or 2000. And I really like that it kind of feels better than the old one, I have to say it. I prefer to use the 2000 than the 1000 in my hands because it feels better. I mean the screen is the only basically disadvantage, so if you don't care about the new good screen of the PSP, PS Vita 1000, just get a 2000, it's basically better. Okay, Grandia. Of course with Hound, because TNV enabled sound for PS1 backups since version 9. And this one's version 9.6. Sound emulation is not perfect, but it's good enough. Quit game. <clears throat> and the last one I will show you is... k -On.
and otherwise the new reader is nice. I've set it up like my old one, so it has the same structure in terms of folders, apps and so on. It even has like Project Diva second demo version in Japanese and so on. I just dislike that if you uh, have an Asian device and you use the move mode that you, um, as you can see, it says X is back and triangle is menu and so on. And now circle is opening. So these two are kind of inverted, the X and the O button. But that's because it's an Asian device, so yeah. But otherwise, the new PS Vita 2000 is very awesome. I really, really like it. And it can do everything the old PS Vita 1000 could do. So if you want to decide between the old and the new one, I would kind of prefer the new one. And both can run, run TNV, both can run VHBL and so on. I'm do that and see you soon.